It's not fair, Serena. You are given the privilege because you are their biological daughter. What's going on all of a sudden, Mary? Your mother told me, even though we all live in this family house, you are the only one not paying for living expenses, Serena. That's not fair. We're paying $1,000 a month to your parents for our living expenses. I see about that. There's a reason for this. Has my mother told you anything about it? Reasons? She told me nothing of the sort. It's my parents' decision to exempt me from paying my living expenses. They said that since they didn't have to spend much money on me, they want to at least have my living expenses exempted. Huh? What do you mean by that? I don't get it at all. My brother Edward went to college, but I decided to work after graduating from high school. That's why they said they'd exempt my living expenses equal to Edward's college tuition. My parents' policy has always been to treat siblings equally. So your living expenses will continue to be exempted forever? Well, for a while, but not forever. I've done some rough calculations, and I think it'll be for another two to three years. Edward went to a private university, and he even had to repeat a year of school. So the tuition fees seem to be quite expensive. Another two to three years? While your brother and his wife are working hard to pay $1,000 a month to your parents, you still get an exemption? That's not fair. Even if you say it's unfair, that's what my parents decided. If you don't like paying them $1,000 a month that much, why don't you rent an apartment? There's no way you can rent an apartment with the same conditions as this house with only $1,000. Plus, this house is in the best neighborhood around here. It's close to work. Hospitals and shopping facilities are nearby. If I rented an apartment of the same level nearby, the rent would be $8,000. Then, living here for only $1,000, including rent and living expenses, is a very good deal. You're living a very reasonable life, so... Could you stop saying it's unfair? Then please give us some money in exchange. Excuse me? We've been paying $1,000 a month. But you, Serena... We're exempted. Mm. Then surely you have plenty saved up, right? Mm. Well, I guess so. Mm. Then you can afford to pay us $10,000, can't you? Mm. Instead of saying it's unfair, mm. please give us $10,000. Mm. I don't understand what's going on here. Mm. Why do I have to give my brother and his wife $10,000? Mm. We are in debt because of you, Serena. On top of the $1,000 we are paying as living expenses, we have a loan for a new car. And we also have a lot of friends, so our entertainment expenses are pretty high too. As a result, our family budget is in the red. Before we knew it, we had $10,000 in debt. So please pay for our debt. I'm surprised that you have a debt, but I still don't understand why I have to pay for it. You've never paid for your own living expenses, right, Serena? Mm. That means you're living on our money. Mm. What? Mm. And we're in debt because we're struggling with the $1,000 of living expenses. Mm. In other words, our debt was caused by you. Mm. So I think you should pay the $10,000 we owe. Mm. Huh? If mm. you have savings thanks to the living expense exemption, it's okay, right? Mm. Our debt of $10,000 we will definitely have you pay this. Mary told me that you have a debt of $10,000. Is that true? Sis, I'm sorry for all the weird things Mary said. I heard everything from Mary just now. It was so crazy that I couldn't understand much of what she said. It's unbelievable, isn't it? That whole theory? She talked as if the debt was my fault. I'm so sorry. The $10,000 debt is due to our poor money management. And yet, she's demanding you pay it back as if she's taking it out on you. I'll be sure to give her words of caution later. I'm a little relieved. I was wondering what I should do if even you had the same thoughts as her. Even I can't keep up with that crazy theory. But, you know, if you could help us... 
I'd really appreciate it if you'd provide us with the money to repay the debt. I beg your pardon? Well, the interest rate at the place we owe money to is really high. That's why the repayment hasn't been going so well. I see. So it would help if I could temporarily pay off the debt. Then you wouldn't have to worry about the high interest rate. That's right. So please, can you lend us $10,000? Of course, we'll pay you back, and we'll even pay you some interest. First of all, we need to do something about the high interest rate debt. Well, all right then. If that's the case, I'll cover the $10,000 this once. Really? It's true that I've been able to save a lot of money thanks to the living expense exemption, but I'm not going to go easy on you just because we're siblings. I'll make sure you make a repayment plan and I won't tolerate any delays. Of course. Then, let's discuss the repayment plan tonight and a written pledge. Then I'll lend you $10,000 right away. Thank you, sis. Then I'll see you tonight. Serena? I still think it's unfair that only you, Serena, are exempted from living expenses. So, please get out of the house right now. I've already taken all your belongings outside. What? What is this all of a sudden? We've already discussed my living expenses, haven't we? But I still don't agree with it. Edward and I work together to make ends meet every month. But you, Serena, who is exempted from paying living expenses, is happily going on a shopping spree. Think about how I would feel having you show off your new high brand bags to me. I'm not showing them off. Besides, that brand bag has been my dream since I was little. I don't care about your dreams. The problem is that you do whatever you want while I have to put up with it. You don't get to shop for luxury brands when you parasite on us. What part of me is a parasite to you? You've been a parasite all along. You live in the same house as us, yet you don't even pay a penny for it. You've been living on our money the whole time. You're just like a parasite, Serena. You keep bringing up that crazy theory again. So, you parasite, get out of this house. Our lives will be easier once you're gone. What do you mean by that? To begin with, a monthly living expense of $1,000 is too expensive. It's true that the house is located in the best district, but it's old. $1,000 for living expenses, including rent, is a huge ripoff. That's when I finally realized. This 1,000 living expenses must be a plot by your parents. They must be adding your living expenses on top of the needed amount. Huh? Are you seriously saying that it's a plot by my parents? Of course I'm serious. That's why I'm kicking you out of this house. If you disappear, the added cost of living should be reduced. Then, our finances will be a little more manageable. I'll be able to buy a high brand bag. You're as crazy as ever, aren't you? Your thoughts are just too convenient, or perhaps you're just too assuming. I'm getting tired of dealing with you. I don't want to deal with parasites anymore either. This is the last day for you to rely on your brother and his wife. Get out of here, you parasite, who doesn't pay anything. Then pay me back the $10,000. Huh? I can't. Why should I pay you back that much money? Of course you have to pay me back. Edward told you everything, didn't he? That I helped you guys pay off your debt. I heard that, but I don't think that's needed. That debt was caused by you. That's why you... Who was the cause of the debt paid it back? Huh? You didn't even pay a penny for the living expenses. You're so spoiled by your parents that you don't pay anything. That's why we had to pay $1,000 a month for living expenses. That led us to borrowing money. In other words, it's a debt that came about because of you. 
You should be the one to pay for it, not me. And it's time you stopped shifting the blame for that debt. It's all because of you two spending too much money. Shut up! I don't care what you parasites preach. Get out of here. There's no place for parasites here anymore. Okay, then the $10,000 will become $100,000 for you to pay back. What? And you'll have to pay it all back in one lump sum. Oh, this will be tough. What are you talking about? $100,000? We didn't borrow that much from you. Not from me, but you did borrow it from my parents. What? You thought I didn't know anything about that? Wait a minute. Oh my god, how much do you know about it? I know everything. I know that you forced my parents to pay back your scholarship. What? I heard that when you and Edward got married, you asked my parents for a lot of money. Since I'm marrying into this house, you should be able to pay that much, is what you said. You threatened them that if they didn't pay, you wouldn't sign the marriage contract and you wouldn't have the ceremony. My parents out of pity did as they were told and paid back your $30,000 scholarship money. Oh no, I mean... And I heard that you've been constantly behind on your monthly living expenses too. Sometimes you don't even pay $100 out of the $1,000. And you even force my parents to pay for the down payment on your new car. You think you've hidden it well, but I know all about it. No way! Edward and I had agreed not to tell you, Serena. I told your parents not to tell either. My parents kept their word. They haven't said anything. I just had too good an insight and found out on my own. I immediately questioned my parents about it, but they didn't say anything. But they didn't deny it, so that's your answer. Oh no! So, I did my own calculations. The total amount of money you guys made my parents pay? When you add it all up, it's quite a bit of money. And if you add in the $10,000 that I covered, it comes to exactly $100,000. What? We owe that much money? Besides, it's hard to manage debts when it's all over the place, isn't it? That's why I thought it would be better to combine all the debts into one loan. I temporarily covered the debt you two made to my parents, so I had my brother sign the pledge to pay me back $100,000 in total. A pledge? Even though you're his sister? We're family. So that's why we have to be firm about these things. It also says what to do if he tries to escape from my payment. In that case, you'll have to repay the debt in one lump sum, no matter what. What? So you'll have to pay me $100,000 in one lump sum. Oh, if he only hadn't kicked me out or tried to evade your debts? Then I would have waited for you guys to pay in installments as promised. Wait a minute! I didn't hear anything about that. Even if you didn't hear it, Mary, Edward's signature is on it. Then I'll leave as you said. So Mary, get ready for the lump sum payment. I'm so sorry, sis. I've retrieved all your stuff. I've put it all back in the house neatly. So please, don't tell me we'll have to pay you back in one lump sum. I have no intention of kicking you out or running away from my debt at all. Even if you don't, Mary seems to be different. She called me a parasite and kicked me out. I can't live with someone like that anymore. Don't say that. Let's continue to live together at this home. Mary wants to apologize to you too. She just took it out on you. Mary wanted to buy a high brand bag too, so she got jealous and kicked you out. I've covered for her $100,000 and yet she took it out? Do you think such a childish excuse will let this matter go away? I told you that I'm sorry and so is Mary. Our parents are furious over what happened and it's not good. If you don't come back, they're going to cut us off. 
they'll kick us out for disrupting the family harmony. I can't believe you guys offended those parents who are as kind as Jesus. But maybe that's good for you guys. Maybe this will be a good opportunity for you to get rid of your bad spending habits. What? If you can depend on anyone, it will naturally improve. Oh, but can you guys rent a house? You'd have to sell your car to pay me back. And you'll have to sell everything you own. Maybe you'll be homeless after you leave this house. What are you laughing at? It's not a maybe, it's a definite. So do me a favor, sis. Come back to the house and let's all live together again. I'll really pay my debt of $100,000 too, so please change it back to installments. Why do you think I prepared a pledge for you? I'll have you pay it in one lump sum no matter what. Well then, I go look for a place to live. Oh, um, do we really have to pay back $100,000? Huh? You have to pay back what you owe. That's common sense, right? Yes, but I'm not quite convinced. Enwin showed me the written pledge and I listened to what he had to say. But I still think it's strange. Well, what is strange about it? The fact that you have $100,000. How can you cover such a large sum of money on your own, Serena? Even if you live at your parents' house, it's bizarre that you have such a fortune. Is it? I don't have any greed, so I'm able to save money. But still, $100,000 is crazy. Just because we have no idea how much money we owe? Aren't you raising the amount of money on purpose? What? It should be about $50,000 that we borrowed from your parents. But you're saying that the total is $100,000. And you make it sound like you've done us a favor, covering for our debt. You actually intend to rob us, don't you? You're still thinking like a madman. There's no way I would do such a trick. Otherwise, there's no explanation. You're just a high school graduate living at your parents' home. There's no way someone like that could afford $100,000. I own a company. What? It's small, but it has some sales. So I can afford to take on $100,000 on my own. Really? You're kidding, right? I had no idea you were running a company. That's because I didn't tell you. If I told my brother and his wife, who spends money like crazy, I was sure they'd treat me like a convenient ATM. I can't deny that. I'm thinking of living in a luxury tower apartment. It sounds like a good place for a business owner. A tower apartment? No way! I didn't know you had that much money. If I had known you were a company president, I wouldn't have kicked you out. Look, I'm really sorry from the bottom of my heart. I'll get down on my knees or whatever. So let's mend our relationship. Why don't we go on a shopping date? No way, you idiot. I don't even want to see your face anymore. Oh, no! If you'll get down on your knees or whatever, just pay me first, okay? With the help of my parents, all of my brother and his wife's belongings were sold off. And they used it to pay me back. But it still wasn't enough to pay me back in full. They were so desperate that they asked all their friends to lend them money. But no one was willing to help them out. In the end, they moved into a cheap apartment. They also repaid my debt with the help of a consumer finance company. I heard that the interest rate was quite high. They are working hard to repay the debt. By the way, I moved into a tower apartment. My parents who came to visit me said, I wonder if we should sell our house and move here too. The two of them, I'm sure they'll come begging for us to share the house with them again. They were proceeding with the bidding process for the room next door.